Your Grace, the Most Reverend uh, Francis Callis, Archbishop uh, of Pondicherry, good Lord. And Your Grace, the Most Reverend uh, George Antonisami, Archbishop of Madras, uh, Mailopur. Other bishops here present, Father Rosario, Paris Priest of the Cathedral Church, Reverend Fathers, uh, Reverend Sisters, and my brothers, uh, and sister in our Lord Jesus Christ. I am truly honored to be present in this uh, auditorium here in Ponticerri and celebrate Holy Mass for you this evening on the solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Christ. In a particular way, the Archdiocese of Pondicherry Cudalor is celebrating the 100th birth anniversary and the 10th death anniversary of Cardinal Simon Lurdusami, the Prefect Emeritus of the Congregation for Oriental Churches, former Secretary of the Congregation for the Evangelization of Peoples, and former Archbishop of Bangalore. During this Holy Eucharist, uh, let us thank God for the witness Cardinal Lourdesami gave to all those whom he encountered during his 29 years as Cardinal and even after that until his death on 2nd June 2014. Today we are reliving the wonderful reality of the solemnity of Corpus Christi, during which the Church does not only celebrate the Eucharist, but solemnly bears it in procession, publicly proclaiming that the sacrifice of Christ is for the redemption of the whole world. Our readings at Mass today help us to understand about the great mystery that we are celebrating, the presence of God under the appearance of bread and wine can only be perceived through faith. The Church on various occasions has tried to highlight the importance of showing in various ways the reverence we have for Jesus in the Holy Eucharist. Benediction with the Holy Eucharist, processions, prayers before the Blessed Sacrament, the genuflections or the bowings when we pass before the tabernacle and the reverence that we show when the tabernacle is open. In all of these ways, we show our faith and adoration. The solemnity of Corpus Christi is a unique feast and constitutes an important encounter of faith for every Christian community. It is a feast that was established in order to publicly adore, praise, and thank the Lord, who continues to love us to the end, even to offering us his body and his blood. The Eucharistic mystery is the gift of Jesus Christ makes of himself, thus revealing to us God's infinite love for every man and woman. The real presence of Jesus Christ is truly a great mystery. Saint Paul VI explained that this mystery of faith is something that the Church has always devotedly guarded as her most precious treasure. The word of Jesus to his disciples 
take this, this is my body, and this is my blood, the blood of the covenant, are not simply words. What Jesus says is the central event of the history of the world and of our personal lives. In today's Gospel reading, the evangelist Saint Mark explains how Jesus instituted the Holy Eucharist during the Last Supper as a sacramental banquet and a sacrificial offering. That it is, uh, that it is God who gives the food capable of giving strength and vigor. The Eucharist is offered to us as a nourishment and as bread from heaven, so that in the words of Jesus, whoever eats my flesh will live because of me, will live forever. As Christians, we know that we need Christ to be present in our lives. And we are not alone on our pilgrimage. Christ, the bread of life, walk with us. Panis angelorum, fatus cibus viatorum. As we honor the real presence of the body of Jesus in the Eucharist, the source and summit of the Christian life, may each of us realize the importance of being fed and nourished by the body and blood of Christ. May Our Lady of Immaculate Conception, the patroness of your Archdiocese, inspire you to deepen your faith in the Lord. May Jesus, the spiritual food that nourishes our hope, sustain you on this journey towards heaven and strengthen your faith. And may Almighty God bless each and every one of you. Amen.